Hi everyone, back here again for another video. Today, let's have a look at the Rapu MT550 Bluetooth mouse, which Rapu sent over to me to do a review. Though they sent this to me for free, all my comments in this video are all my own. The Rapu MT550 is a multi-device Bluetooth mouse, and also they call this a multi-mode wireless mouse because of other features like the adjustable DPI sensor, which we'll get into later. This mouse is one of the several mid-budget Bluetooth mouse out there, coming in at around 30 US dollars. Depends where you buy it from. In Amazon, it can go as low as 25.99 US dollars. Here in Thailand, if I check in Lazada or Shopee, it's around 899 Thai baht to a bit over 1000 baht. It's not the cheapest out there, but I think it's reasonably priced since it comes with many features. What I really like about this mouse is the size. It has this almost ergonomic form which lessens fatigue on my wrist, and it's big enough that my hand can rest well on it. In fact, if I compare this to my Logitech M585 mouse, which I already like the feel on my hand, the angle of my wrist on the Rapu MT550 is positioned a bit better, which I can say is in a more natural position, so my wrist is less stressed, I guess. It also has this nice curve on the side that allows my thumb to rest well too, unlike other mice where my thumb is rubbing on the desk. The matte finish is also nice to the touch, and the design here makes it easy to grip. One thing to note though is that the matte finish may cause scratches, and I already managed to put one on this unfortunately. In terms of compatibility, I have been using this for a couple of weeks now on my Windows laptop, and it works well. I connect this by Bluetooth, and pairing this is pretty straightforward as any Bluetooth device. I turn on the mouse, then I choose the device number that I want to use this, and then press and hold on the Bluetooth pairing button, which is the one on top. Then click on the laptop settings to complete the pairing, and that's it. I can now use the mouse on my Windows laptop. To connect to other devices, I will go through the same process. So I will do the same steps on my iPad. The only difference is of course I have to choose another device switch number, this time it's the second one, and then I press and hold the Bluetooth pairing button. Again, it's the button on the top. And then I confirm pairing on my iPad, and that's it. I have now connected the Rapu mouse on my iPad. Aside from connecting to three Bluetooth devices, I can also connect this using the USB receiver if I want to. I plugged in the USB receiver, which you can find it inside the compartment of the battery. So here, I disconnected the mouse from my Windows laptop. How to connect it via the USB receiver is to press the device switch button until I pass the third light. So it's like the fourth press on the button. And on the side of the mouse, there will be no blinking light on the last or the fourth press on the button. Then that's when I'm connected via the USB receiver. Now as for using the mouse itself, this has very clicky clicks and definitely not a silent mouse. The scroll wheel has this nice design that kind of looks like the Logitech MX Master 3, but it doesn't scroll fast. It's actually kind of slow, but for me who use this for office work, it's just good enough. 
and anyway I can adjust it in the settings if I want to. Note that there is no horizontal scroll for the scroll wheel. I can press the scroll wheel button and it will turn on this quick scroll option. So if I'm in Excel, for example, I can use this to quickly scroll through several columns. One thing to take note of when using this on the iPad, and this happens on different Bluetooth mice. The clicks are okay and works the same way as in Windows, but scrolling is quite rough when using the scroll wheel. Again, this happens on any Bluetooth mice that I've used, except of course with the Magic Mouse. Now let me give you a quick run through of the iPad mouse gestures. First, to show the dock, scroll down slowly. Then, scroll further and a bit faster to go to the home screen. Drag further down again, a bit slow, and you will see the app switcher. Then, to do a slide over screen, drag an app on top of another app and you'll see it will become a rectangular shape release and you'll have the slide over screen. Drag the top part to move it in either left or right. Next, click and drag on the home screen to move to different home screens or to the app library. Drag your mouse up to show the notification center or drag the mouse to the top right corner to show the control center. Drag down to go back to the home screen. You can also switch on or switch off the natural scrolling if you want to. As for the side buttons, it won't work on the iPad unless I turn on assistive touch and I customize the buttons. To customize, go into the settings and choose assistive touch, then go to device and choose the Rapu mouse. Click on customize additional buttons and press on one of the side buttons and choose whatever action you can see in the list. Using the side buttons on my Windows laptop, it works as the back and forward keys. So when I'm in the browser, I can press the lower button to go back to the previous page or the upper button to go forward. According to Rapu, these buttons can be customized using their driver. I cannot try it as I'm not allowed to download external apps on my work laptop. Now moving on to the DPI. According to Rapu, you can adjust this as sensitive as you want and you can adapt the MT550 mouse in four DPI levels. The mouse's optical HD sensor resolution can be toggled between 600 dpi for maximum precision and 1600 dpi for maximum speed at just the press of this button on the top. For me personally, I prefer to use it on the third setting and I use this for both my Windows laptop and on my iPad. As for the batteries, the MT550 mouse uses two AA batteries. This is the first time that I have used a mouse that needs two batteries, but I guess it's because of the several features it has, like being able to connect to three devices or four if you connect three by Bluetooth and one by the USB receiver, and the ability to change DPI. Anyway, Rapu claims the batteries will last for 12 months. I turn off the mouse every day after work, so let's see if indeed it will last 12 months. I can see the battery percentage in the Bluetooth settings, both on my Windows laptop and on my iPad. However, what's strange is that it says the battery is at 85%. So maybe I got an old unit from Rapu. Anyway, I will update you guys how the battery life is in the comment section down below. Overall, the Rapu MT550 is a reliable mouse. It does what it's supposed to do. It's responsive in all the devices I use it with. It's not the most cheapest mouse out there, but it comes at a reasonable price 
considering it has all these features like connecting to multiple devices and DPI adjustment, something not every mouse at this price range has. And what I really like about this mouse is the ergonomic form that my hand and wrist love. So hope this video helps you give more idea on the Rapu MT550 Bluetooth mouse. That's it. Thanks for watching.